Hello everyone, this will be a short video today just on how you can set up self-hosting in like five minutes using ngrok. I believe that's how you pronounce it at least, I am not entirely sure. But the first thing you need to do is download the software. And then after you download the software, you also want to create an account at the same time. It's worth knowing that only you, the GM, need to create the account and only you, the GM, need to download the software, which makes this a really fantastic solution in my opinion. Now this solution also requires no port forwarding and no messing around with any of the sort of network stuff. So after you have the zip file downloaded, you need to go ahead and extract that into its own folder. The folder should only have the .exe in it, nothing else. So that is the next thing we're going to look at now. After you have unzipped the file and have it in its own folder, you just want to go ahead and double click it. It'll pop up, install it for you, and this will allow you then to use the ngrok, again, not sure about the pronunciation, in a command line of its own. So now we just need to go back to the folder. This is the same folder the .exe is in. Shift, right click, and press open PowerShell window here. All right, cool. Go ahead and leave this open. We're going to go jump back to our account and take a look at a few of the things we need to type in. Looking at our account, the first page you'll see looks like this underneath setup and installation. We've already done step one, so you can go ahead and skip that. Step two, you want to go ahead and copy this whole line, the line that's in the box, and paste that back in your PowerShell window. What that'll do is it will connect the installation to your account. After you've done that, you can go ahead and go down to step three. Step three, we have the line in this box. However, where we have the number after HTTP, you need to replace that with a number that is used by Foundry. The default, I believe, is 30,000. I'll put a link or a mention in the description below where you can see all of these lines and how you have to have them set up. Except my authorization token is going to be different than yours. After you type in that last line, you'll see a box that looks like this. You can go ahead and get your foundry set up and make sure it's running on the same port you just typed in. And then the final step is to go back to your account page one more time. Go over to the left hand side where we have status, click tunnels, and then share the link to your players so that they can join your game. And if you are running foundry on your computer, and if you have followed all these steps, they should be able to access the join page for your game. And you are done. As a note, these links will expire. From what I can tell, it lasts for at least eight hours, so you should be covered for a long time, but just something to be aware of. All right, well, that is it for today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And thanks, everyone, for listening. Hope this can help you out for your game.